We're going to Oregon, baby. <laughs> this is by far the weirdest thing I've ever done on my YouTube channel. I had a crazy desire to go stay at some weird Airbnb and by far the coolest one happened to be in our town. So I am currently at North Haven Campground in Bonners Ferry, Idaho. And this place is so cool. They have log cabins you can stay at. They have walking trails around the campgrounds, RV park. These two covered wagons saw this photo and I just had to come here. So I'm gonna spend 24 hours in the wagon like I'm on the Oregon Trail. I mean, I bought an outfit. Uh, we need to do a fit check here. Also, Kamani's here. I bribed him with Froyo to come with me because I needed a little help filming today. <laughs> no way! This is amazing! Oh my gosh! I did not think it was gonna be so big inside. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> they got me coffee and bread. Those are like the pioneer essentials right there. This is a big upgrade from sleeping in Sioux. <laughs> Wagon tour. We are heading west in style with a big old bed, little lamps, this big screen window thing. I love it so much, I'm definitely gonna sit here in the morning. We've got a coffee set up. We've got a micro wave, microwave, mini fridge, we've got bunk beds. AC and heat, wagon wheel table and chairs, and right outside, each of the wagons has its own little bathhouse. They are so cute. And a campfire area. So now that I'm all settled in, it's time to go get food. Which means I have to go into town like this. Stop laughing. <laughs> So I have my wallet in my pocket. We're gonna go get some snacks. Uh, there's a couple things I need to get to make dinner. Um, this is how I ruin my entire local reputation forever. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Charles doesn't like that kind. I can just hear laughs throughout the store. Terrifying thing I've ever done. You know, this isn't even a challenge of camping in the wagon anymore. This is a challenge of social society. <laughs>
I'm gonna do some research, you know, learn some skills of the Oregon Trail. And believe it or not, even pioneer women, such as myself, have to protect their online privacy, which is why I'm using Surfshark VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and what it does is it encrypts all of your data and hides your personal information, keeping it safe from cyber criminals and big companies that you do not want having access to it. With Surfshark, you can also hide your digital location and completely change your IP address, which is not only an amazing security feature, but it allows you to shop deals from different parts of the world and access websites and versions of streaming platforms from over a hundred different countries. I personally use this feature almost every day. It's like having a hundred different versions of Netflix. I'm gonna change my IP address to whichever country's Netflix has a little house on the prairie. Surfshark is all about keeping you safe online with so many security features, like their own private search engine, antivirus alert systems, so you never have to worry about who's snooping on you, even on unknown networks. Surfshark also has a money-back guarantee, so it is literally zero risk. So to get Surfshark for yourself, go to surfshark.dl slash Nevea or use the link in the description below. Enter code Nevea and get three months free. Okay. 100% found what I'm gonna be doing for lunch. I'm gonna make some butter. I'm gonna churn it with marbles. I figured it'd go perfect with the bread that the owners very kindly left me. I actually did go to the store and try to look for an old fashioned butter churner. Like they had a barrel one and one of the, you know, the things with the stick. I was really tempted, but you know, $200 to make butter one time kind of seemed to like, overkill. So I'm using the jar of marbles method instead. My mom said she did this in elementary school and it works, so... Alright, I guess you just... Shake it. I should've put less milk in here. workout. I don't hear the marbles moving around anymore, so I think it's thickened up. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Take the bread. All right, moment of truth. That is so good. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's gluten free. That is so crazy. It's not the consistency of butter I'd get at the store. It's like way frothier and creamier, but it's so good. All right. So I'm going to bring this home. Definitely worth the 20 minutes of shaking. Hi. After explaining to another fellow camper why I was dressed like I came straight out of the 1800s, it was time to drop Kimani off. Are you going to bring this show in it? Why? Because I, I helped you film. This, uh, this was so much worse than the grocery store. I genuinely think I have never felt this uncomfortable in my entire life. The people in the waiter restaurant window are laughing at me. <laughs> this is a small town. The Froyo place is where everyone hangs out in our small town. I don't, I don't even want to think about this experience ever again. And I'm like 99% sure the cashier thought I was Amish or something. I don't even know. Stop laughing. Video? Yeah. I saw you from a distance and I was like, what kind of minimite is that? You look cute though, I love the Thank dress. You. Are you happy now? Mm-hmm. Was that worth it? Was it worth doing that to me? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna bring you home now. <laughs> I took the bonnet off. I mean, I still got the whole outfit, you know, but I felt like the bonnet might be drawing too much attention. It's not like the outfit draws attention or anything. <sighs> Man, all this walking is making me mad thirsty. What a coincidence. A water bottle I've definitely never seen before in my life. That's a lot better. What's a pioneer's favorite food? 
Oregon Trail mix. It's been six long hours out here in the wagon. And my oh my, has it been a journey. Sure does grow mighty lonesome out here. Probably because I'm the only person wearing a bonnet, but I think I need to make a friend. This is gonna be in a museum one day. Got a pine cone head and a little bonnet. She's made out of a bandana that came with this apron. So same material, just like the lady at the source that they used to do. I will name you Ruth. This is Ruth. The sun's gonna go down in a couple of hours and I'm really hungry. So I think it's time to start planning dinner. Oregon Trail style. <laughs> I got like 1,500 pounds of meat. They only let me take this. It's definitely not from the store. I'm so hungry. I think I'm getting the hang of my camping meals now. Me doing a weird form of camping and then eating steak seems to be becoming a trend. It's time to find out if all that hunting paid off. Oh yeah, five stars. 17 year old girl dressed as a pioneer woman outside of a covered wagon aggressively cutting into and eating a steak something I think most people have not seen before. I'm having so much fun though. Last time I was camping in my car, it was like blizzarding out. Now it genuinely is the most enjoyable, perfect environment outside. Day has been great. <laughs> steak is huge. <laughs> The owners came by today and they brought me some wood, lighter, some stuff to get the fire started. Last time I camped, I had to get my dad's help for the fire. This time we're gonna do it. I got it this time. <laughs> At least we're gonna try. I was watching back a couple of the video clips from when I was eating dinner and I noticed my apron was on inside out. Um, glad I caught it because that outfit would have been embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna go make a fire. I made a fire. I guess you could say my uh, camping skills have improved. I need to make sure this doesn't die. Now all I have to do is be going until it's dark. I did it. Got my little lantern with me again. Best lantern in the world. So I've just been hanging out at the fire for a couple of hours at night when really all you can see is around the wagons. You really do feel like you're on the Oregon Trail. It's an experience, but I am really tired. So I think I'm gonna check in for the night to the wagon. This is my sleep bonnet. I heard they used to wear these. I feel like it's kind of giving off the strawberry shortcake vibe. The weather today was absolutely awesome. I mean, it could not have been more perfect, but it still is getting chilly tonight. I think when I checked it said 36, but it is actually so warm in here. I, I mean, I'm in t-shirt and shorts, so my pajamas. I was a little skeptic. I was like, there's no way the heater actually holds heat in here. But it is absolutely perfect. <laughs> All right, good night. I 
morning. <laughs> so I quickly cleaned up the inside of the wagon and the outside, and then it was time to go get some breakfast. They have complimentary little snack bar right over there in the little outpost. I think I also saw like a mini fridge with juice boxes or something. I'd go wild for some OJ right now. There's a whole store in here. Complimentary little breakfast bar. So I feel like I need to buy a pair of earrings. They're really cute. <laughs> All right. I've had so much fun here. It's kind of weird that I miss my outfit. If you stay here, I recommend buying an outfit. It just, it helps with the experience. Well, I think it's probably time to get on the road. It's funny, something about this entire experience kind of reminds me of something. Huh. Wonder what that is. <laughs>